you know, you don't really need us in order to improve your digital skills. You can do that any time of the day or night at home in front of your computer with your bunny slippers. I'm going to show you how. See, I want to find a way to enable my students to edit a Google form after they've already submitted the grade so that they'll be able to continually fill it out during the week. Let's see, I'm going to go into Google. Let's see what I get. So first of all, if you want to look specifically for videos, click on videos. And then I'm going to look for people that I know, creators that I know make tutorials that are good. I'll also look for length. First of all, I'll check out something that's short and to the point, because this isn't something that really should be taking a lot of work. It's also important, especially when you're doing stuff digitally, to look for things that are the most recent. So if I have something here that was made in 2015, I'm not sure that that's really going to answer my needs because I know that Google Form has changed. That was five years ago. So when searching on YouTube, take advantage of the filters too. So I'm going to go into, this is from 2018. It's 2015, 2017. I'm going to go into here. Do you need to have someone edit a form after they've already submitted it? Yes, I do. So I'm going to go listen to them and find out. For this session, though, I don't need to look for anything because Judy already gave it to me. So I'm just going to go into here and show you how I learn by splitting my screen and having one next to the other and, and following along. Before you start working with a split screen, you want to set up your settings on the computer. You go to Settings, System, Multitasking. Be sure that these are turned on. Once the system is set up like that, you can open up your browser and take two tabs and separate, separate them into two smaller windows. So I have a window on the right, a window on the left, two separate tabs. I can work on YouTube right next to my slides. I always like to give my students choice. And one of the great things that I learned last week from one of Judy's videos is about the choice board. I don't, I've never made a choice board before, so I want to learn how to do it. In order to learn how to do it, I go onto the internet, find a tutorial, and do it. I want to show you how I learn things from tutorials on the internet. So here's my tutorial, and I'm going to open up a new, a new tab. And I know that for this tutorial, I'm going to have to use Google Drive and new slides. I've already seen the start of the tutorial and I'm opening up a new slide, a blank presentation. So let's go. I'll explain how to design a template where you can customize the clone out of this. And we're going to start out by changing the layout to blank. I'm going to insert So that's it. I, it took me 23 minutes to make this choice board and I'm going to go watch your other video, but now you see how you can learn how to do something at any time at all, just by opening up a YouTube that teaches a YouTube tutorial like hers or like one of mine, 
Open up a second window at the side by dragging it aside and following step by step, stopping when you want to. It's so much easier than even watching when I'm trying to teach it live in a Zoom because here you could go at your own pace, at your own time and make your own learning happen. Thank you.